Hey everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy and today our expert trainer will be discussing about demon sets. So make sure you're watching the video till the end. Demon set is going to guarantee me that a pod runs on every node of my cluster. How is the pod spec going to look like? Just like the way we've created deployment and replica set, we create a kind called as demon set. But there, when I say the kind as demon set, I don't have to give the number of replicas I want. Kubernetes understands the moment you have created daemon set, the daemon set controller knows two things. What? The number of replicas is equal to the number of nodes I have in cluster and also equals to one pod per node. Daemon as a service, like I installed Docker and running as a service or Kubelet or SSH, whatever is running on your service as a daemon, exactly this application is going to run on every node of my cluster. I don't have to give a replica count out there. The replica count, the desired state is automatically set to number of nodes you have. After a year, I add two more nodes out there and I have created a daemon set controller. What is going to happen? Daemon set controller's desired state right now is three because three nodes what I have. I add five, six different nodes out there. That desired state is going to change and it's not going to match your current state. New nodes got added. The desired state from three changed to six, but there are only three parts out there. Demon set is going to take care of creating those pods on all of those nodes out there. Makes it easy for us. The use case is when you want to have a pod, a copy of your pod running on all of the nodes of your cluster, you don't create that as deployment controller. You create that same pod with the help of another controller called as demon set. Now, one way we looked at it is static pod. That's the manual way of it. We don't like to do that. But if they really want to do it, you can do it. We have seen how to do that. Otherwise, we create and run as what? As demon sets. <clears throat> what are the typical use cases of demon set? Usually, if you're running your log collection demons on every node of your cluster, or you want to run some monitoring like your Prometheus, we can make use of demon set. Demon set, the kind what we're trying to create is what? Demon set. Job of demon set to give me one pod running on all of the node of my cluster at any given point of time. Node adds after two years, I don't have to worry about it. Automatically, at a pod will be created. How does it know which part to create, how to create? The kind what I've created is daemon set. And if I go back and bring you the the deployment and the replica set part manifest, what we looked at it, daemon set also looks similar to us. The kind is only different. Here it is daemon set. Here it is deployment. Metadata, the information about the name of your daemon set, named as web server. Yeah. Spec also looks similar. But when we look at the spec of deployment, we have an options of replicas. When we look at the option of demon set, replica is not there. That's the only difference other than that you have selectors, you have template. When we create that, when the node add joins after 10 years, how does the Kubernetes know where the pod to be get added? How it should add? Template is here. There are 100,000 pods running on that particular node. I mean, you can't really run. I'm just giving an example. How does it identify? Selector is here. Same concept of what we looked at earlier is just that daemon set controller is giving to give me when my use case is subtle different when I want to have this particular pod running on every node of my cluster I make use of a kind called as daemon set. How can I do? One is the YAML file and we're going to take a look at that. I'm going to take a look at this YAML file. But before we go there I'm going to introduce to another new concept. Let me undo the few lines where I deleted. I added something called as tolerations. We are going to talk about tens and toleration in detail right now, just for a little bit of understanding purpose, right? Our master can also deploy parts. It can also run parts, user parts. So far, I created the deployment. We added 20, 100 replicas out there. And we never was a pod got created on the master node. All of them were going on worker one or worker two, right? How did that happen? Master can also run. Why did not my scheduler choose this particular node out there? Why did not it choose the master node? By design, as a best practice, your master should not be running user workload. Why? Because master already has a lot of work to do. Because there's CD going on there to store your database out there. There's API server constantly working. There's controllers. There is your scheduler. It is already doing a lot of stuff and we do not want to overload our master server as well with the user workload. But that does not mean you cannot. You can if you really want to. But how are we preventing it? We are preventing it by applying an additional lock to our cluster. We did not do that. We, how did it happen? When I did the bootstrap of my cluster, 
what did bootstrap process do it marked my master node uh, with something called as a taint say for example uh, in, in my office i have multiple conference rooms and i want to reserve one conference room for myself for my team okay so now anybody in the office who can walk inside who has access to the main gate comes inside the floor can go into that conference room right because they've they've authenticated they've authorized the the security guard has let them inside they can come inside and they can pick and choose wherever they want to go but what i do as a smart guy i want to reserve that particular conference room for myself i addish, i apply another lock maybe some fingerprint lock out there right and the only people only my team whom i give that extra the passcode or the key to to key in and go inside that conference room can access it otherwise that room is locked for others others will come try to open it and say okay the door is locked they'll not even look at it they'll go somewhere else similar concept i have the master node out there i can taint it with something called as effect called as a no schedule i'm telling the scheduler there is this node out there i have applied a taint like a special lock i have applied don't open the door for anybody else even though they are authenticated they are good pods they can be created here fine nobody is coming here how did i do that tainting by universally repelling everybody sending them away by not coming and that is the reason whatever number of replicas what we added so far none of them got created where in our master node all of them were going somewhere else node one node two node three wherever they were they were went to master now i have a use case where i want to monitor even master as well so i want the pod to be created where on the master as well what do i do i have to give that key to that pod the employee have to give the password you no know, key in that you can go inside there's a special key i have there whatever the key value i make use of whatever the lock i have applied i give the key and that's exactly what we are doing as well where in the yaml file right now if i don't apply this toleration under the spec and i create the pod this way it is only going to go to worker node and worker node one and node two because by default they can't go to master master has a special lock i want them to go to master as well under the pod spec i create something called as toleration special pass the key i'm giving to my pod telling i know there is a lock out there taint out there taints we apply on node tolerations we apply to pod in detail we are looking we will look at taints and toleration now that when we look in the demon set i introduce it a new concept where we have kept it away the special key we are giving here whatever the key we made use of to lock this guy out and i'm telling you there is a taint out there with this particular key and this effect you can tolerate now the pod will also get created where on my master if i did not have this taint i did not need to give the toleration right taint toleration is a new concept we're trying to we are going to look at demon set right now we are going to create the demon set i have not given the replica account and we are going to see the three pods will get created let's go and create this let's go ahead and create this cube cattle get all we see something called as what a demon set got created what can we do to get more information we already know cube cattle get short for demon set is d ds ds or demon set whatever you want to type the name of that it's going to give you a little bit information how about more information find no problem describe it's going to give you a little bit of more information right cube cattle get notes how many notes do i have right now i have three notes and as a reason of that three pods got created but are these running on every three nodes of my cluster i don't know cube cattle get pods three pods are running very nice how do i see the node information i for no wide tells me that three different no- nodes i have i have three different pods got created out there cube cattle create describe is what we sorry create demon set is what we did and and we could make use of the and created a demon set so guys this was our expert from team k21 academy and if in case you want to have a deeper dive and want to build a career in kubernetes and docker including devops then we have something really special for you we have our free class on mastering kubernetes docker and devops that includes how to build in demand skills and land a high paying job So for that you just have to visit k21academy.com forward slash k8s02. You have to click on book your free seat now and after that select an event date according to your availability. Enter your name, your email address, your phone number and click on yes save my seat. Moving ahead you'll be seeing this kind of interface. You just have to save this link on the extreme right, add it to your calendars and I'll see you in the free class.
Till then, take care and keep learning.